Hi, it's Cherokee, and I am making my daily video post. Today is, I believe, day 39, and this is Make Your Habit Strong. So, I am smiling at 1.30 in the morning, and just overjoyed because I have received my grace back and myself back in the process. So over the past possibly week or more, I experienced a gradual emotional decline and ended up feeling very disconnected without even knowing how I got there. And over the course of trying to find my way back uh, to my, you call it higher self or my highest emotional state or a non-stressful, non-depressive state, I realized that in trying to save myself time each morning or, or whatever the heck I was trying to do, <laughs> I stopped meditating. I was meditating every morning. I stopped meditating gradually. And I don't even think I was meditating in the evenings. And this used to be a daily part of my routine. And I sl it's not that I wasn't checking in with myself or, you know, things like that at work, but I just became, you know, through a series of, of guidance, more aware that I had not really um, been doing that anymore. And I came to an understanding of how extremely important that is, how important it is that I that I start my day off in a positive mental state before I go into the world and get, you know, beaten up by the events that occur within it. Um, I can avoid the beating if I <laughs> prepare myself emotionally. And that is where meditation comes in. And it's helped me to realize on a much deeper level just how important taking that time for myself in the mornings and in the evenings is. And I don't think, you know, of course I did it, but I don't think I really got it. Um, why that was important. I know that I was experiencing anger while at work and it was like all day long. It was affecting my vibrational state. It was affecting my ability to create. And even the exercises I was doing was not from the same place that it was previously, meaning it wasn't from a place of I really like want to do this. It was more, well, I refuse to be defeated, so I'm going to do this and force myself to do it, um, which is a, a little bit of a different vibrational state. So anyway, through um, this past week or so, at least at least the past three days, of my really uh, trying to hunker down and understand why my emotions were the way they were, really make the connection. I was guided, again, right back to myself, <laughs> as always, <laughs> right back to myself and what I can do to help my situation. But now I understand that, let me get, probably get centered just better. But now I really understand um, the, the major game that meditation plays in my life. And that is, um, it's a protection. And it is where I receive my clarity and my guidance. And it's not like I wasn't you know, tuned in and being guided to these things. I was, but just taking that time for myself each morning and evening is huge. It's so huge. And I think I took that for granted. I obviously took that for granted. And, uh, and you know, gradually kind of stopped. But now, through this journey, through this process, it feels like a brief one, but... <laughs> It was an extremely important lesson that I learned, and that is to to continue to value my time and my emotional state to the point where 
meditating each day is not an option because gradually these outer experiences factor into my emotional state. I can maintain my emotional state if I protect myself before I go out to the world, before I even start my day. Because I start now, right when I wake up, saying some words of appreciation, thinking positively about what's coming from my day. And then I do a few things, have some water, and then I really reflect on on the positivity and gratitude of everything that I have. And when you start your day off from that vibrational state, you can remain in that vibrational state. So today was my first day back to grace, my first day back to a feeling of where I can continue working in a, in a, you know, in a fashion that I want to move away from, for sure, but at the same time, I can continue working in a state of grace and appreciation for even having a job and having um, the ability to financially care for myself and my family. And I'm back, baby. I am back. And I'm so grateful and so thankful for this journey because it taught me a very valuable lesson, a very valuable lesson which is my emotional state is every single thing, everything. Where I create from, when I write, when I, when I draw, when I do anything that I love to do, when it is from a state of emotional health and clarity, of course, the work reflects that. And taking it for granted is what caused me to lose it. So going forward, I will not take that for granted again. I am so thankful for for this experience and for now really understanding on a much deeper level how extremely important taking this time for myself is. And that's step one, my vibrational state, my emotional state, which is my connection to source, my connection to God. So I am just truly happy and excited about everything to come for this week because I have some time off to get rebalanced in my personal life at home and I'm just very grateful for everything that I have anyway that is my message to myself for today this is Cherokee this is make your habit strong (laughs) slash how to maintain a high vibrational state (laughs) Signing off. Have a good night, and I will see you tomorrow.